Chapter 6 Foods We Eat Introduction Hi, how are you students? All are fine? Good. Did you all have breakfast? Yes, good. But tell me, did you all eat the same breakfast? No, right? Few had milk and bhakti, chapatis in breakfast, while few others have had bread butter, hot hot upma poha. We all have had different different breakfast. In all of our houses, we cook different types of food items for breakfast, lunch and dinner. True, right? Good. Now I will call out few students' names and they need to tell me what they had eaten yesterday night for dinner. Mehul, what did you eat yesterday night? Teacher, last night I ate a chapati made of bajra and jaggery. Good. Yeah, good. Do you like chapati made of bajra? Wow. Bhavani, what did you eat yesterday night? Teacher, yesterday my mom made dal rice. Yes, good. Madhi, what did you eat yesterday night? Teacher, I went to the Gurudwara with my grandmother for the langar. We ate chapati and dal. Oh, nice. Friends, do you know what is langar? In a Gurudwara, food which is served to all pilgrimages is called langar. What did your Ami make for dinner last night? Teacher, Ami had cooked ghee and puri, which I don't like. So I ate pudla. Why do you not eat ghee and puri? Friends, you must know that we have to eat all types of food to keep our body healthy, such as dal, green vegetables, chapati rice, beans and fruits. By eating all these food items, our body gets enough protein, vitamins and minerals. So friends, we must eat complete food to stay healthy. Okay, Marthi, what did your mommy make for dinner last night? Teacher, my mother cooked idli. I ate it. It was very tasty. Kia, good. Friends, do you all like idli? Hmm. Well, Abhishek, what did you eat yesterday night? Teacher, my mother bought tabeli for us from her workplace. So we ate that. I liked it so much. Mitali, what did you eat yesterday night? Teacher, yesterday no food was cooked in my house. Why? Teacher, my mother was very ill, so she had not prepared food. Oh, so Mitali, you stayed hungry last night? Yes, teacher. Oh, that's bad. Friends, did you realize we all have had different food last night for dinner? From this, we get to know that there is diversity in our food. Let's do an activity. You tell me what you ate last night and I will write it on the plate which is drawn on the blackboard. Chapati made of bajra with jaggery, good. Dal rice, chapati and dal. Keel and Puri, Pudla, Idli, Dabi, Dal. Good! Friends, did all of us eat the same food item? You will know, right? Thus, we get to see diversity in all of our food. 
Now friends, as you must have noticed that Mitali did not eat food last night. Hmm, did such a thing ever happen to you too? That you were very hungry but there was nothing to eat? Hmm, Jay, you tell me, has it ever happened to you that on Sunday you were very hungry but there was nothing to eat? Teacher, my mother had gone out and did not come till late night. I was very hungry till then. Okay, Jay, now tell me, what happens when you are hungry? When we are hungry, we cannot concentrate on our work. Our stomach makes various sounds and our face also becomes pain. Friends, now I will ask you a question. Can all the family members eat all the things that you eat? No, right? Come, I will explain why this is so through Vipul's story. Friends, Vipul is a boy just like you. When he was going home from school with his mother, on the way he saw a cart of butta and decided to buy a butta. He asked his mother to buy a butta and his mother brought him a butta. He reached home with the butta. He lives with his grandparents, mother, father, uncle, auntie and baby Chutki. He offered the Buddha to his grandmother. But his grandmother refused to eat the Buddha. Do you know why did his grandmother refuse to eat the Buddha? Friends, since Vipu's grandmother is old, she does not have teeth. So she refuses to eat the Buddha. Friends, you too must be living with your grandparents, don't you? Can they eat Buddha? No, right? Similarly, Vipul's grandmother too cannot eat Buddha. In Vipul's house, there is a baby, Chutki. She too cannot eat Buddha. Now, you will be wondering why, right? Friends, have you seen a baby? Yes, then you might have noticed that they do not have teeth, so they cannot eat Buddha. Thus old people and babies cannot eat hard food items as they do not have teeth. Now you understand, right? Good. Friends, let us do an activity. I will ask you which food items can be eaten by children, young people and elders and which food items can't be eaten by all the above. So are you ready? Activity What can they eat? What they cannot eat? Child Young Old Maya, tell me which food items can be eaten and cannot be eaten by children? Teacher, children can eat soft food items such as kichdi, rice, tea, etc. While they cannot eat hard food items like chapati, bhakri, paratha, pulses, etc. Judy, now you tell me what food items can be eaten and cannot be eaten by young people? Teacher, young people can eat all types of food such as vegetables, bhakri, kichri, pulses, etc. Now, Vara, tell me which food items can be eaten and cannot be eaten by old people? Teacher, only soft food items such as kuchdi, rice, dal, chapati, khee can be eaten by old people whereas they can't eat hard items. Very good. Now let us do another activity. Activity Friends, I will write the names of some food items 
you have to read them carefully and tell me which food items do we often include in our diet. I will put a circle on it. Come then, let us now start. Rice, wheat, barley, oats, maize, millet, tapioca, rabi. From the above, which food do we often include in our diet? Wheat and rice. Hmm, right. We often include wheat and rice in our diet. So I will put a circle around them. Friends, in our region, wheat and paddy is grown on a large scale. Hence, we include them more in our diet. Depending upon what is grown easily in a region, the people of that region use more of the food crop in that diet. For example, in Punjab, wheat is grown on a large scale. So, people of Punjab use different food items made of wheat in their diet. Friends, do you know which food item can be made using wheat? Let us write down food items which are prepared from wheat. Hmm, halwa, chapati, paratha, bhakri, lapsi. Hmm, very good students. Halwa, chapati, Paratha, bhakri, lapsi, etc. are made from wheat. Similarly, South Indian people use rice in maximum of their diet. Do you know why? In South India, paddy is grown in large quantity. So the people of that region eat very food items prepared using rice more. Friends, do you know what all food items can be prepared from rice? Let us write the different food items which is prepared from rice. Pulao, dosa, idli, rice, khichdi. Hmm. Pulao, dosa, idli, rice, khichdi are prepared from paddy, rice. You all must be liking all these things very much, right? Friends, there are many regions which receive snowfall. So no crop can be grown there. Now think and tell me, what do the people of these regions eat? Do you know? No? Let me explain. In such areas, all types of crops cannot be grown. So these people include more of meat and fruits in their diet. Friends, different crops are grown on different lands. So people of that region include that food item in their diet. Activity Friends, we have learned about different food which are eaten by the people of various regions. Now, you have different likes and dislikes. Let us do an activity on the basis of that. Write the names of three food items you like to eat and three food items that you dislike. Have you completed? Now see your friends' likes. Are your likes and dislikes similar to that of your friends? No, right? Thus, friends, the food item which you like the most, your friends might not like it. For example, Mitali likes halwa very much, but her friend does not like it. Similarly, you like Maggi very much, but your elder people in your family do not like it. Thus, likes and dislikes of everyone are different. Similarly, there is a diversity seen in our country. Friends, do you know what is diversity? People who live in different regions have different customs, culture, language and food. This is called as regional diversity. Friends, do you
Do you have friends or relatives who live in different regions? If yes, can you tell what they like to eat? Teacher, my maternal auntie lives in Valsa. She likes Umbari very much. When she wants to eat Umbari, she goes to the restaurant. Jay, what is Umbari? Teacher, Umbari is just like Umbu. It is mainly eaten in South Gujarat. Wow, have you eaten it? Yes, teacher. Friends, does any other student's relative or friends live in other regions? Teacher, my friend Judy, who is living in my neighborhood, is from Kashmir. Teacher, she likes fish cooked in mustard oil and different food items. Once, she had gone to Goa with her family. She ate fish there, but its taste was different. She did not like it. Her mother told her that it was sea fish cooked in coconut oil, so it tastes different. Teacher, the people of her region use mustard oil in their diet. Right, Meera, the people of different regions use different oil in their diet. Teacher, my friend Thompson lives in Kerala. He likes to eat boiled tapioca with any curry that is made using coconut. I also ate them. It tastes very good. Friends, thus the family of different regions eat different food. As that food item is grown on a large scale in their region. In Kerala, coconut and tapioca are grown in large quantities. So your friend Thompson and other Kerala people include them in their diet. Friends, do you know what are the reasons behind the food we eat the most? No, don't worry, I will explain. But before that, you need to answer few more questions. Are you ready? Friends, which food items are easily available to eat for us? Hmm, grow. Tell me, the food which is grown in large quantity in our region can be easily available to us. Very good. Friends, we live in Gujarat. So wheat, paddy, cotton, groundnut, pulses and many different crops are grown in our region. Hence, they are easily available to us and thus we include them in our diet. Friends, which things can we buy? Do you know, we can buy things that we get at a lower price. Thus the food item which we can get easily or at a lower price, we use them in our diet. Moreover, we create our diet as per our customs too. For example, the people of Hindu religion do not eat non-vegetarian food. Friends, let us do an activity. Are you ready? Friends, I will write names of some things on blackboard and will ask you can those things be eaten or not? You have to answer. I will put a tick mark on the things which can be eaten. Banana flowers, hen's eggs, Cauliflower, drumstick flowers, leaves of arvi, meat, mushroom, rat, seeds or onion, kalonji, lotus stem, fish, crab, red ants, frog, grass, leftover chapati, amla, coconut oil, Camel's milk, chapati made of bajra, chapati. Have you seen this table? Hmm, very good. Now tell me, banana flowers can be eaten? No, they can't be eaten. So we put cross sign of false on it. 
Now, drumstick flowers can be eaten? No, they can't be eaten. So we put cross sign of false on it. Friends, can we eat mushroom? Can we get? Yes, teacher, we can eat mushroom. Absolutely right, Jeff. We can eat mushroom. So put take sign of true here. The next thing is lotus stem. Aarti, tell me, can we eat lotus stem? Yes, teacher, we can eat lotus stem. Well, so we put take sign of true here. Friends, can we eat red ants? No, we can't eat red ants. So we put cross sign of false on it. Friends, can we eat leftover chapati? Tell me, Manji. No, teacher, we should not eat leftover chapati. Hmm, we should not eat stale food because if we do, we fall sick. So we put cross sign of false on it. Friends, can we drink camel's milk? Yes, friends, we can drink camel's milk. It helps us to stay healthy. So we put thick sign of true here. Can we eat hen's eggs? Tell me, Tanvi. No, teacher, we are vegetarian, so we can't eat them. Tanvi, you are right, but eggs can be eaten. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat leaves of ivy? Tell me, Mansi. Yes, teacher, we can eat leaves of ivy. Very good, Mansi. You are right. So we put tick sign of true here. Now tell me, can we eat rat? No, we can't eat rat. So we put cross sign of false on it. Friends, can we eat fish? Tell me, boy. Yes, teacher. Fish can be eaten. You are right. But vegetarian people do not eat fish. We put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat a frog? No, friends, we can't eat a frog. So we put cross sign of false on it. Can amla be eaten? Amla can be eaten. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat chapati made of bajra? Yes, chapati made of bajra can be eaten. So we put thick sign of true here. Can we eat cauliflower? Yes, we can eat cauliflower. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat meat? Tell me, Prachi. No, teacher, meat can't be eaten. No, dear. You are vegetarian, so you can't eat meat. But non-vegetarian people eat meat in their diet. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat onion seeds? Yes, we can eat onion seeds. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we eat crabs? Tell me, Hush. Teacher, we can eat crabs. Non-vegetarian people eat crab, so we put thick sign of true on it. Friends, can we eat grass? No, we can't eat grass. Only animals eat grass. So we put cross sign of false on it. Friends, can we use coconut oil in our diet? Tell me, Pooja. No, teacher, we can't use coconut oil in our diet. No, Pooja. The people of South India use coconut oil in their diet. So we put thick sign of true here. Friends, can we use chapati in our diet? Tell me, Jeff. Yes, teacher, we can use chapati in our diet. Right, so we put thick sign of true here. We just learned which food items can be eaten and which cannot be eaten. Now let us do another activity. Write the names of some food items that you have never eaten before but feel like eating. Khandri, Idra, 
मेदुपड़ा उम्बाड़ी राजमा